this morning, since I wasn't able to do a live in Countryside, I'm doing a live in Burbank, Illinois. This Dollar Tree is on 87th and Ridgeland. And this is a completely different one than the other ones that I have taken you guys to. But I am here to buy some candy because I am making a double tier birthday cake out of candy. So, good morning everybody. This Dollar Tree, you'll know that you're where you're supposed to be because the Les Brothers is right on the corner. And that's a restaurant. And this is on 87th and Ridgeland. And this is not my favorite Dollar Tree, but it's close. <clears throat> hey, Samantha, how are you? Hi, Nicole. Good morning. Hi, Tracy. So look at this one is set up a little bit different than the other ones that we've been to and they have all their school supplies still out and ready to buy and what i'm looking for today because we are making a candy birthday cake for someone i'm looking for those glue dots and some candy so let's see if we can find those but i always have to check and see what's new they have new paint and things like that now see, this store doesn't have nearly as much Halloween stuff out as the one that I was at yesterday. The one I was at yesterday. Hi from Orlando. Hi, Laura. Good morning, Sheena. So they do have some things out, but not quite as much as the one yesterday. That's my favorite one. That's the one in Countryside near Home Depot on LaGrange Road. So they do have some cool cutouts. Look at that one. That's pretty cool. I might take this home and hang it on my bedroom wall so it's an incentive to be as shapely as she is <laughs> um, but they have some cool ones and here is that little um, one that would be cute for a wreath hi Jean how are you and then he, look at how cute these boxes are they had these at the other store they have the small ones and then they have the big ones and you can make a little look how cute this is okay I don't have this one I gotta get this one and here's little stickers cute for scrapbooking Here's more of the Halloween stuff. Those are the cute glasses that they have that are fun. I got a few of those. There's the skeleton tongs. They have the uh, ping pong eyeballs out now. And they have the ice trays. Oh, look at that. Those are cute. How cute are these? Wishing you a haunting night. Those are fun. And then they have little bowls. And things like that so let's see the other store was loaded with um, costumes too so there's all the garland I'm doing something with this hat I'll have to show you guys how I spruced it up I'm just finishing it up and then here these are different because they didn't have these last time even at the other store these are the skull stakes that go in the ground they didn't have them so let's go see, so that's all they have in the Halloween here, and the other store is packed full of Halloween stuff. So let's see what else they have. Oh, here's some more. Look how pretty these are. Those are new, I never saw those before. And here is the Thanksgiving. And here is more. Oh, look how cute these are. Little elves. Here's the keep out. You might want to put this on your house forever so nobody comes in. <laughs> and these are fun. The mask that you can make. And let's see what else they have. Here's more fall items. And again, this is the Dollar Tree that's on um, Ridgeland. Look at the fun ribbon they have for Thanksgiving. How fun is that? And then there's the back wall, all the flowers. These are the ones we use for a lot of the wreaths because these are perfect because they're nice and full. And then this one is the party section aisle but here is more 
mesh and things like that. And here is the brown that everybody's been asking about and I haven't bought any lately. So here is, I'll take you quickly down, this is the card aisle and usually like the party sections, you can see most of my Dollar Trees are all very well organized and clean. Look how cute these are, this is new garland and they have really cute stuff to make baby items. I'm going to make a baby rattle, I'll have to show you guys what I have in mind. And here's all the football stuff that came out, so if you like to do um, football stuff, I'm kind of whispering because people are looking at me like I'm crazy. Who am I talking? I'm talking to my phone like I'm nuts. Um, and hi, Roberta from New York. And here is all the fun. Look at, they have a cute little happy birthday. They have garland. And then they have like party favors and stuff, which is perfect for kids' parties. And here's all the glasses and things. Oh, look at how cute that is, shoe lover. Wine flies when you're having fun. And then here is their cleaning section. So they have a huge cleaning section. And then here is all the toys. So they have tons of toys. And as you can see, for being a toy section, it's not messy like it usually is at some stores. So they have a lot of toys and things. I thought these were really cute. Look at, they have the little hats. If you have grandkids or kids of your own and you want them to bake with you so they learn how to cook. And then those are the butterflies we use for the template for the wreath. Good morning, April. How are you? And then here is what I'm looking for. So to make the birthday cake that I am going to do, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree foam board right here and I'm going to use the little sticky tabs if they have them here and so far I don't see them but I did buy them here before so let me see if I can find them yeah I know everybody's jealous of all my Dollar Trees now this is something that I can use which I think I'm gonna get one more of these because this is the double face tape that I can use but I was really hoping to get the glue dots because those would work great Look how fun these are, these little paper clips. Look at that, how cute are those, stars? But I don't see those glue dots. Well, they, oh look at, here they are. These are what I need. This is what I'm going to use for my candy birthday cake that I'm going to make today. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make it. I'm going to do a two-tier chocolate candy birthday cake. Yes, our store has a ton of stuff. Well, we have, this is the fourth, is this the third or the fourth? Well, yesterday would have been the fourth if I'd have taken you guys to Countryside, but that store was closed. Not closed, but Facebook was down, so I wasn't able to do it. So, hi, Shauna. Yes, Mercedes. Um, how often do I shop at Dollar Tree in a week? Well, because I have my store and I always need something different either for home or there or if I'm doing a craft, I probably go once a week. But if I need something to finish, I probably stop twice a week. But there, this one too is only like 15 minutes and I actually have one right down the street from my house, which is a lot smaller. So I don't really go there very often. But I do go probably about twice a week depending on what I need. And then here is their craft section. They have all kinds of different, but see, not all of them carry the same stuff. So, and then this one's cool because they have this one all the time. They're running out of these, but they have these colored eyes that you can do different crafts with. And then here's like all the stickers that they have. It's a book cover. I just want to see if I can get one more package of those glue dots. I only got one, but otherwise I'll have to use the double face tape. So they have tons of pens and things like that. And this is something that I would even try, like if you guys work with uh, the Cricut or Silhouette, you could probably use this and cut it if it's um, adhesive and you can probably do different projects with it. And I did do the one with the stickers. I'm trying to see if I can find it here. Um, we did the word stickers and I used a tumbler from Dollar Tree and glitter. 
and I'm going to show you guys how to seal it and you can make those for different gifts too. Hi Haley, how are you? Oh, I did pass more dots. Where are they? April, help me. <laughs> Where's the dots at? <laughs> I gotta look. Tell me where they're at. Yes, I'm looking. So am I in the right area? <laughs> Tell me if I'm hot or cold. <laughs> on my back left a little bit. Okay. Now I'm on a mission to find them. That's why I have you guys with me. Uh, oh, look at these. See, this is what's going to happen is they're like sleeves so that you can change the thing out. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to drive me crazy. Alright, let me read and see where I'm at. Other side. Okay. <laughs> Other side. Alright. So it's got to be down this way then, right? Is it down this way? No, across. <laughs> well, I'm in the right aisle, right? Right behind me? Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh my gosh, this is what well, I'm telling you guys, my eyes are screwy. Back up a bit. Okay. All right, well, here's glue. Here's glue sticks. Now, you guys know I'm looking for the glue dots, right? Okay, I passed it up again. So, I'm right here. I'm right a... here. Oh! <laughs> I knew I should have asked you. <laughs> I was thinking I should ask this girl next to me. Oh, look, at they're right here. This is what... <laughs> How did you know I was looking for glue dots? <laughs> oh. Okay, thank you so much. Look at we found the glue dots. <laughs> And this nice lady helped me. We got them. So this, there's 36 in here. And I'm going to get the blue ones rather than the green ones because it, it says heavy duty, strong bond. And I want the candy to stick to the circle I'm going to stick it to. Yes, I got them. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, finally got that. And... Now we're off. Okay. So here is the pet's aisle. And here is like all of the different bath soaps. They have all the different sprays and everybody raves about the sprays. Everybody talks about, thank you, Laura, you guys were funny. <laughs> it's like it's right in front of my face. If it was any closer, it would have smacked me. Um, and here is like all of the other and they are getting more brand name items too because everybody keeps posting some of the brand name items that they're getting in. So that's really cool. And here's all the soap. This is one of my favorites. I always buy these, but you know what? They always have them on sale at Walgreens for like 45 cents when they have their coupon in the paper. And then if you have a manufacturer's coupon, you can double stack that and then you get them for like a quarter a piece. And then on this side is all the house stuff. Now, you guys have seen the different jewelry boxes that you guys can make with these rollers, right? Have you guys seen those? I did one of those recently, and I also did one with them where you can make a little paper clip stand so you can stick those in there. But this is really cute for like rings or making a jewelry or take an old shoe if you go to Goodwill and you take the old shoe and you spray paint it and you dress it up with rhinestones and then you put these rollers in there and then you can have a little shoe that would hold all your rings and things like that. <laughs> Have you guys seen those? That's pretty cool. And then here is all their hair dye and their other items. Now this one here is getting to be popular. I've seen people talking about this shampoo. So let's see what else they have. Anything new? 
here is more. Now this one here, I haven't seen these yet. These are something absolutely new. They haven't had these before. So each Dollar Tree seems to get different things. And I've been looking for that dispenser you guys keep talking about with the toothpaste dispenser. And we haven't gotten that yet either. So I wanted to check that out. And then here is all of the makeup. So let's see. Somebody said that they, if you get the e.l.f., and I haven't seen, I know Wet n Wild is popular here. I have not seen any of the e.l.f. products yet. So all of our stores are pretty well stocked, I have to say. Um, they're all really good stores. Here's the baby sections, and this is what everybody's talking about. The Gerber, it's hard to believe it's only a dollar. That's crazy. And here's more baby stuff. And then this one here has um, the refrigerator section too. So we have a lot of the different foods and things here. And I've been doing different food hauls depending on what I buy. And my freezer is pretty full, so I probably won't be doing one. But I am gonna get some of these because I bought these last week and my son ate the whole can on his own so i'm going to get three of them today so that i can send one home with him they were very very good so i'm going to get that and then i'll show you real quickly the tumbler that i used for my project that was here hopefully they'll have them so these are the different tumblers that you can do different projects with and I just wanted to see if they had the one that I'm working with so that you guys can use them. Because I've done them on these where you do different vinyl sayings on them. Um, the biggest thing is, is being able to make them waterproof if you want to, I mean not waterproof, but um, dishwasher safe. So look at these, how cute. Follow your heart. Be brave, go your own way. Now that one's perfect. And then this one says, find joy in the journey. And then here's the certified Smarty Pants. I got that one. I don't see the tumbler that I'm working with so that you guys know exactly, but Dollar Tree, oh, here it is. It's right here. This is the one I'm working with. I really like this tumbler. So this is the one that I use the stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm using the inside, not the sticker itself. I'm using the inside of the sticker as a template. So these I like because this part that you drink from is completely separate from where you're gonna put this. So no matter what you work with, like if you do a Mod Podge or something and it's not food safe, it's not gonna touch your mouth because of this lip being totally separate. And then the lid comes off like this and it's a twist off. And it's on there really tight I can't twist it off but this is a twist off top so that makes it really really nice um, to be able to have it separate so these are what you're gonna look for and guess what they if you check your dollars this is in green but I have it in black and I bought it in pink so I'm gonna show you guys how to seal it and um, you guys are gonna be able to make these and a lot of the things that we're making oh I'm gonna have to look for the toothpaste dispenser thank you you guys that's why I like having you with me um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and then if you find different st um, stickers at your craft store if you don't do vinyl and you're not able to customize cups and things these are some of the great things that you can do for the holidays um, and give away as gifts and then here's more of our food aisle this is all food and I'm gonna check oh here's a couple of more here are a few more these are nice for summer but I don't like to have to completely um, and then the, the, this is usually on all of them, the BPA free. And then these I love, I use these at home all the time. If you can get these, these are great for like fresh salads and vegetables and things like that. And if you have kids that go to school, you might as well save on foil and make them a nice lunch and use these for a container with fruit or whatever you want. This is a great way if they bring them home because I've raised this child and I know how that is. And then here are, look at all the cookies and cakes and treats that they have. These are my favorite. These are very yummy. These are very yummy. Thank God I already ate breakfast or I'd be buying cookies. And then they have all the chips. These are really good. Excuse me. So I do eat even the off-brand name items. They're okay for me. I don't mind them. And then this is the one I want to go down because I'm making this chocolate candy cake for a friend. He loves chocolate. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. 
so I wanted to see what I'm going to use now here is more and I know a lot of people are making um, different things like pillowcase covers and stuff out of the mats the place mats so you can find some really cute patterns if you look and these things are like really nice these are good if you want to hang different wreaths in here you can take one hanger and put a wreath on it and then you can put another hanger on and then you can put it in here and you can put two wreaths if you're gonna save your wreaths so this is another great way to store your wreaths rather than a plastic bag or something so I mean I know because I have so many wreaths and then look at you can get bandanas and things now if you're gonna make scarecrows this is a perfect place to come and get the bandanas for your scarecrows which is really cute cute with um, Halloween coming if you want to do something different and they have cute bags and then somebody asked me before if they have t-shirts so they do have t-shirts on occasion and here are the rag rugs that we use to make the different purses so if you didn't see the rag rug bag which is perfect for fall they have different colors and things and we made the small one and we made the large one so this is a great place and then for all of you waiting 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 to see what I was making these are the pantyhose for the little angels we're making and I got the pantyhose and the cotton balls so that I can make the heads for the angels. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Tuesday is going to be the video for that. So and then Friday we're going to do um, something completely different too. I always have something going on. So let's see here's all the chocolate and what we're going to use is I did buy a bunch of things but what I want to do is I want to get some miniatures like these to make sure that I can fill in my space correctly and these are perfect as long as they're individually wrapped so that's what we got to make sure of so if anybody decides when I show you how to make this you want to make sure that things are individually wrapped when you're using that glue on candy so we're gonna do these and he likes Reese's so we'll do these so that's perfect so there you have it this is another one of my great Dollar Trees I come to this one only on occasion I'm actually stopping at a wholesale store um, <clears throat> that is in my neighborhood and on um, it's like a closeout place and you get 20% off once a month so this I'm going today because my son likes the slim gyms and stuff and it's like a place that you can buy in bulk it's a lot of fun so I go there once a month too so yeah this is um, another one of my Dollar Trees and I just wanted to show you guys since I wasn't able to join you guys yesterday. So I will chat with you guys later on. And I hope that I do give you guys some good ideas. There's some things that you guys should really be picking up before the season's completely over. And that would be like different hats, different um, pots because they have a real cute planter. And I think they no longer have them out that you can use for a pilgrim hat. So you could take the pot and turn it upside down. I'll show you which one that is. You guys should be buying pool noodles so that you guys can make candy canes and you guys can make wreaths with those because a lot of times you can't find the wreath form. You can take the big pool noodle and you can make a really big snowman face so there's a lot of things that you guys should be picking up now for the fall so that you can have it because you won't be able to find them once the season comes around there's a few other things I wanted to tell you guys to pick up but I will show you guys when I find it because you won't be able to get it when we make them and then you're gonna be mad that I didn't tell you so I will definitely oh and here are these cute look at these I got these the other day remember these are the really cute um, owls they have an owl the owls eyes light up and change color and then this was the skull that I showed you guys and the mouth moves and the eyes the eyes turn um, green and red so these are really really cute so you guys have a great day and I will definitely keep you guys posted on what I'm making look how cute this wreath this is this bow is how cute is that I think I'm gonna have to get this just because <laughs> something that I don't need but I'll figure out what to do with it and I always decorate my store too um, and a lot of you ask I have a boutique in downtown LaGrange and I am decorating for the holidays there so I have 3,500 square feet of my own store to decorate so I need a lot of stuff so a lot of times when I'm buying different things it's not necessarily for my house it's for my store because I need to keep it festive and interesting for my customers when they come in so everybody have a great day and I will see you guys soon and on Tuesday you guys will get to see the angel washcloths so have have a great day and I will talk to all of you soon enjoy your Sunday and if you're near rain or anything do a craft that will make you have a little bit of fun today I'll talk to you guys later bye